Christmas and welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Betty Kingery. And I'm Steve Furrow. And I'm Bob Parcell. Merry Christmas. Mountain to Lake Realty is located at 195 South Main Street. And your listings are located all over numerous websites, including our company site of mountaintolake.com. In addition to our website, uh, we do have the physical location there in Uptown Rocky Mount at 195 South Main Street. We'd love for you to stop by and visit with us. We'll have someone there between 8.30 and 5, Monday through Friday, all the time. And if those hours don't work, uh, check out our website at mountaintolake.com or the numbers to our agents are on the front office door. So those two ways will be a great way to get a hold of us if you're interested in buying or selling a property. We'd love to visit with you, so just reach out to us. And let us know how we can help. And of course, during the holidays, our office hours are a little bit different. As uh, Steve is telling you, that the, the numbers are on the door, so it's easy for you to find us, especially with our cell phones, and most of our agents keep our cell phones by our side most always, so it is easy to get in touch with us even though there may not be anybody inside the office. Most of the time an agent can get to you in a, a very short time actually. So we want you to contact us as we find that it's a busy time of year in more things than real estate, but definitely in real estate it's busy. We are still getting calls. We still need your listings. So there's a, a shortage of our inventory. And so we just, we need your listing and uh, be prepared because when you put your house on the market, when it's priced correctly, and um, I mean, location does make a difference for some people, but now it just seems if you've got pretty good high speed internet, or even if it's not high speed, if it's an internet that flows well enough for me to work from home, then it works. So uh, it's interesting how our market has kind of changed with folks are not necessarily drilling down on a, on a specific location like they used to be. So anyway, inventory is short and uh, one of our agents will be more than happy to talk to you, visit you, and just give you some helpful hints to get your house ready for the market and start 2021 in a way that, with a bang, I guess I should say, because if you are interested or sitting on the fence of selling your, your property or your home, now's the time to do it. So what do you think of that, Steve? Steve, you're all ready for <laughs> Christmas, I can tell, yeah, yeah. So um, what, What's, what's going on for you as far as in real estate or even, I know you had something on your mind before we started the show, so let's, let's have at it, okay? Well, you know, Betty, I was just thinking that a, an appropriate thing for us to share maybe, uh, and you know, you always wonder what your viewers and listeners out there are interested in, in hearing about today. And we, we work hard to try to keep this show interesting, but we also know, Bob, that we don't keep our, you know, we don't, uh, we take it kind of lightly, if you will. None of us are uh, are going to be getting a phone call to be a TV news anchor anytime soon, I don't think. But um, with that being said, uh, I think, guys, I, let's let's talk about homes. And you know, I can't help when I think about Christmas. I used to go to grandma's, uh, grandpa's, hang out there. And you know, what would be some of you guys' favorite Christmas memories, if you would? Can you? Maybe we just got time for maybe one, and I'll go first. Okay, I'll go first. Um, if we're going to do favorite Christmas memory, uh, one of my all-time favorites was my grandmother and grandfather Furrow lived in Callaway when I was in my younger years. Well, they grew up, well, they were there for longer than that. But um, I remember going to their house on, usually it was Christmas Eve. And, um, well, let's just say that you learned at an early age that you did not dress it may have been freezing outside but inside it was like a ball of fire that wood stove was cranking and um just made uh well it just made us all uh, very very um uncomfortable if you will because it was so warm but i will share that we all we often joked about uh, what it would be like 
to have Christmas in our underwear because that's what many of us wanted to do <laughs> was strip down into our underwear. It was so hot in there. So that'd be, uh, I'm going to give that as my favorite, one of my favorite Christmas memories there in uh, good old Callaway, USA. Well, thanks for sharing those two. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I had one, you had a good topic there. I have a brother, David, that's 14 years older than me, and I have a brother, Bill, that's 12, and they both got married at 19, so they were gone now the house. So the point is, around Christmas, they would come home with their wives, and I just remember being real young and having everybody in the house together. That was real nice because, again, they were older, and by the time I came along, they were pretty much out of there. So it was nice when everybody was there and on East Court Street in Rocky Mountain. So a whole lot happened in that house, to say the least, but that's what I think about. Yeah. Miss Betty? <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, mine's, mine's pretty easy. My mom was a home economist, and we uh, baked cakes. So starting at Thanksgiving with a fruit cake as, and again, I was young, so it seemed like that fruit cake must have weighed at least 25 pounds, <laughs> and we didn't make just one. The recipe must have made at least three of them. But um, also, mom would do fresh coconut cakes because she, she had a list of people that she would take them to. So between, and it was mostly the fresh coconut cakes. It, she also did red velvet, Italian cream, um, but we were always busy with baking. But I'll go back to the fresh coconut cake because it really was fresh in the point that we would go to the grocery, pick out the coconut. We had this, uh, a, a nail that you drove into the eyes of the coconut to drain the milk out. There you go. And then you took the hammer <laughs> and stuff. broke the outside of the, uh, well, the shell of the coconut. And that, and then you had to dig the coconut out. But then the worst part, I think, was you had to use your knife and without cutting yourself, but get that next membrane off of the coconut before you would shred it. And of course, we didn't have the fancy uh, items to shred with like we do now. You had to do it with your hand and this big metal thing and going back and forth and hopefully you like wouldn't a grater. Get, you wouldn't, oh, <laughs> you wouldn't end up getting your uh, fingernails in there <laughs> or the ends of your fingers. But, oh, we had the most beautiful, because she used the uh, seven minute frosting. So it was a fluffy frosting and you put the, uh, your coconut on it. And it was a truly fresh coconut cake that we delivered to all these people that uh, prior to Christmas. So that's one of my, I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I don't know, maybe my, a lot of it didn't rub off on me, but uh, anyway, so much for that. But I will say to you, Steve, be careful, because if we're all fortunate enough, we might be old one day, and you might be as old as me one day, and uh, you might be a little bit on the chilled side too, so you know to dress accordingly. And uh, if I could share a little bit about Bob and... Uh, Bob was so much younger, but man, he was a brat. He was. Not <laughs> much has changed. He he loved he loved his his family, but it was. You go to see the parcels, oh, and goodness. there was that little Bob running around. You had to be careful. He pulled the chair out from under you. It would. Uh, or put bubble gum in the seat that it came right out oh, of his goodness. mouth. And so then when you stand up, you have this long thing that comes in. Oh, that's bubble gum. Um, anyway, all right. So you two, y'all better be careful as you pick on us elderly people. I, I cannot believe what I just heard, Bob. I cannot believe you would be that kind of person. <laughs> but speaking of people, you got to give a shout out, Bob, to um, one of our own here at Mountain to Lake. I do. We have um, over 1,700 realtors in the Roanoke Valley Association of Realtors. And last week, Billy King was named the Realtor of the Year, which is a great honor. That's based on not only productivity or production, but also community involvement. So it's a big award, well-deserved. And Betty won the award five or six years ago. So we're very lucky in our office to have extremely experienced agents who done this business a long time. So congratulations to Billy and his team and 
I think that's um, you know, another reason to strongly consider our company because we have some very experienced agents that um, are involved in the community and over the years have done a good job, hopefully, uh, helping buyers and sellers in real estate. So congratulations to Billy. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, let's, maybe it's time for us to look at some real estate, but thank you, Bob. Thank you. Let's start out. You want to get us going, Steve? You bet. Here we go. Hey, congratulations, Billy Kingery. We, we appreciate what you do. And here's a, a listing that you've got there. This is Cromwell Drive. We've got uh, a wonderful home here to start off the show. It's uh, almost an acre here. This is, um, if you're not familiar with where Cromwell is, it is, uh, is in, in my opinion, I mean, it's in the town of Rocky Mount, sort of in, um, if you were to travel South Main Street, to head it out of town, right on Upland Hill Road, then a left on Glenwood, and then an immediate right would put you on Cromwell. Um, but a great location here, uh, very close to um, lots, of, lots of things going on in uh, Rocky Mount, but uh, got uh, almost an acre, 0.97 acres here with this property you move in, you know, you'll see that, um, Miss Betty, you're going to have to help me. I, my things are a little technical difficulty, but as you move in here, you can see <laughs> some of the, this is one level living at its best. You got a great uh, entry foyer here as you move in. We've got a formal living room, formal dining room. Betty will get us going here with some of the pictures, but you got the family room. Uh, it's a complete with a family Fire, a masonry fireplace here. Uh, laundry's all on one level. Totally updated kitchen with quartz countertops, recessed sink. Got uh, just, there's lots and lots of updates here that uh, you need to take advantage of if you're interested in that. Crown molding, beautiful hardwood floors throughout this home. So, um, updated pillow windows. It's three bedrooms and two full baths, a, a two and a half bath, excuse me. Uh, an attached two door garage and an additional a single door garage as well. Great place if you're a car enthusiast, you're looking for a place to, to store that uh, antique or that hot rod, if you will, you got a place to put that here. Great thing from um, that standpoint. Really nice yard as we move along here. The basement of this home is completely unfinished. So if you're you know, you're, there's something missing upstairs on the one level living. You've certainly got ample opportunity to put whatever you want to downstairs here in this unfinished basement. Um, so workshop, hobby area, whatever interests you. Uh, paved drive, um, great, great spot here on, uh, on Cromwell Drive. It's a little over total square footage, a little over 4,500 square feet here in this home. Love to talk with you about Cromwell Drive anytime you'd like to check it out. Our next property takes us to Farmview Road and congratulations to Billy and uh, Steve and Billy have this listing along with some help with Julie, I would imagine, but located with a Glade Hill address, this home offers three bedrooms, two full baths. It does have a carport attached as you can kind of see the way the sun was uh, shining on the property. It was a little bit hard to take those pictures. does have a full walkout basement, but with the extra acreage, as you can see, 3.95 acres. Land lays ex extremely well, It's and it is a very nice brick home. It'll offer you one level living. You have a private or paved driveway. It does have a detached two-car uh, plus garage has four bay tool shed and I'll show you some pictures of that in a few minutes. The home was built in 1968 but it has numerous updates. As you'll go through the home you'll realize that yes they did open it up to give you a give a more spacious feeling. You'll also notice the gleaming hardwood floors as you walk into the home but I think one of my favorite parts is the fact that they did open it up and you can see from this picture how the kitchen, dining area, living area, all are, are nice and open. And uh, that's especially good, of course, when you're having family or friend gatherings, which we'll be able to do in 2021, we, we hope. So a, a fully equipped kitchen has the Corian countertops 
You also have lots of nice storage as well, all new appliances. It is a three bedroom home, two full baths. You see from these pictures. Very nice lower level. And again, giving you potential for more finished space in the future if that's what you would like. But it is a walk out. There is already the masonry fireplace down there. It's a nice patio off the back of the home. So a lot of good features to this home that's located on Farmview Road. And maybe, Steve, if there's something else that I failed to say about it, of course, the detached oversized garage that you have here, there's your four bay. Um, do we call that a tool shed or what? A, what's the storage shed? What storage shed? Hot rod shed. Uh, okay, we're on to the hot rods, so that's good. Look at the privacy that you have with this home. That's uh, again located on Farmview Road. It's actually not very far from Cable 12. Next, we'll travel this home a little bit south of Rocky Mount on Virgil Good Highway. A little over two and a half acres. We had two offers within 24 hours of listing. Uh, this property, I wasn't surprised because numerous updates have been done, especially for a home in this price range. In a little bit south of Rocky Mount, 2.52 acres, 1,150 square feet. This is a two bedroom, one full bath, one half bath home. It's a nice living room, updated kitchen. Both bathrooms are updated, new appliances. Roof and heat pump are also fairly recent updates. All one level living. Originally, it was a three-bedroom house, and in order to make a much larger bedroom, a wall was removed, so a little bit of work, it probably could go back to a three-bedroom home as well, but again, it's two bedrooms, a full bath and a half bath. As I mentioned, the kitchen has been updated, double sink and appliances, flooring, paint, windows, and a breaker box. So we hope this closes as scheduled, but this just shows that Get your house in good condition, get some good pictures, and have it marketed correctly. You're able to get a lot of activity, a lot of exposure right out of the gate. And that's what happened here. And I think, again, putting your home on Cable 12, I think, is a great way to reach a lot of people as well. So we're going to head from there on good. We're going to head up to Ferrum. This is Nature's Own Road property. 1.61 acres, three bedroom, two full baths. Those have a detached to uh, two-door garage but uh, here as we, we move in you know this 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 home is located in a, in a great location not far from Ferrum College also not far from Philpot Lake if you're interested in that it's very quiet but uh, as we move in everything is all one level living here spacious rooms with an open floor plan um, you know you got a gas log fireplace here in the as you move in to the, the living room, dining area. Um, nice cozy atmosphere there, especially on some of those cooler mornings. You can shot here of the, the dining area in the kitchen that you see. We'll move into next, I think the next shot is the den. Oh. There's a shot of the master bedroom and the master bath. See the large tub there. Lots of room to spread out for him and her. It's always a good thing. A nice uh, closet there. Additional bedroom. Bathroom. We'll move into the laundry. As I mentioned there, this is all one level living. A little over 1,500 square feet here with this home. Um, and it, I do think a real nice, you got the real nice amenity here with this home is the uh, two bay garage gives you an extra storage um, and there's an additional storage shed as well here with this home. This is Nature's Own Road in Ferrum, Virginia. Greer Lane is where we find this next property that's located just off of North Main Street. But home was built in 1960. It too has numerous updates but it's three bedrooms, a full bath, it's a brick home, so a lot of times we think of that being lower maintenance. But as you go inside, you'll see the hardwood floors are gleaming. You see nice spacious rooms as well. Nice size kitchen. <clears throat> nice cabinetry, lots of cabinetry for storage. Good countertop space. 
The flooring in, in numerous rooms in this home has, has been redone. This bathroom was, the flooring was redone and some upgrades to it as well. And as we go in the lower level, there is a full bathroom in the lower level. And so some work in there has just recently been completed too. So it's a great home, great location, good starter home, perhaps an investment home. So it's a great one to take a look. Again, located on Greer Lane, just off of North Main Street. Next we'll travel this very nice home on Old Furnace Road, staying in Rocky Mount. This home has great views. It has a nice large covered front porch, looks down at Furnace Creek. It's also uh, very close to Furnace Creek Swim Club, but you have really good views from this front porch looking down at Furnace Creek, which feeds the, the Pig River, so at the times it carries a lot of water. So excellent views from this home. The owners have done a great job updating the home. It shows very well. It's a four bedroom, two bath home with a little over 1,900 square feet of finished living space. Also has some unfinished space in the lower level that's a great storage area. You step inside the main level has a little over almost 1,100 square feet. Three bedrooms and a bath, a really nice updated kitchen with been remodeled with new appliances, flooring and backsplash. Nice laminate flooring through most of the home. Has a nice living room and also has a good formal dining room. See these country shutters. Other updates include the windows, the heat pump, roof, gas logs are also recent updates, including a new washer dryer. The lower level has Another bedroom, a full bath, and this very large family room. You can see this masonry fireplace, a couple ceiling fans, very large room. So in addition to the living room upstairs, you have this large family room in the lower level. You'd be hard pressed, hard pressed to find a home that shows better. Again, this is a nice storage area. You see how clean and tidy this room is as well. Also a nice deck off the back of the house as well as a nice storage shed. Here's a good view of the deck, leads into the dining room. Good storage shed as well. So if you're looking for a home that's in excellent condition, numerous upgrades with really good views, we'd love to show you this home on Old Furnace Road. So from Rocky Mount, Old Furnace Road, we're gonna head uh, here not far from Cable 12. This is actually uh, Farm View Road has the Glade Hill address. It's a really nice property here, a little over one and a half acres. A three bedroom and three full baths, or three, three full baths and one half bath. You step inside, this home has been really well maintained. Uh, you'll see, we'll talk about the uh, garages here in a little bit, but great rocking chair, front porch, move in here. Uh, you'll see a great kitchen, dining room, living room, great gas fireplace but you really got to appreciate the openness here the opportunity to stretch out and, you, know, you can still visit but you don't have to be right on top of each other this home provides a great spot for that a little over 2800 total square feet here on the entry level there's um, almost 2000 square feet and then on the upper level um, a little over 800 so moving along here you see those that nice kitchen you got to really appreciate uh, the uh, granite countertops there as you move along. Here's a shot of the master bedroom. Again, plenty of plenty of space. Stretch out. Great Florida room here that you see. Additional bedroom. The bath. So this will be the third bedroom. And again, it's three bedrooms and three full baths here. Go downstairs to the lower level. This, there is no, uh, you know, as far as there's nothing, it's completely unfinished. You got lots of opportunities to kind of do what you want to here with that. Great shot of the backyard. And there's 1.55 acres here with this property. Um, got, if you got young kids, you know, give them a chance to get out and stretch their legs would be a great spot. Uh, you know, got a dog, got plenty of room to run here. And then here's the, the shot of some of the additional 
amenities with this property, but uh, you got to appreciate the the storage here. You do have a you could park an RV there in the uh, one larger um, storage shed there to the right that you see. That's a really really nice addition here to this property. Of course, you see the uh, two door garage in the front, uh, so you got ample storage for your toys, if you will. And uh, this is. Farmview Road in Glade Hill. Our next property is located on the Doe Run Road and with just a tad over two acres and it actually includes two tracts of land or two lots. This is a great property for someone with a young child and, and you just want space to, for them to be able to play or for even for, for you, just giving you that extra space. But with two bedrooms and a bath, that's 1,180 square feet of living space. Definitely one level living. But, and as I said, that extra lot gives you that total of two acres. But with a screened front porch, you've got a covered side porch, a patio, a nice back porch, and the two car carport, you of course, you've got space to spread out. So, as we go inside, of course, you've got some spacious rooms, you've got an updated kitchen, lots of cabinetry once again, beautiful custom cabinet, actually. You've got the dining area, of course, that's open to your living area. You have the two bedrooms, but you also have an extra room that would give you that third bedroom potential if that's what you needed. But with the laminate flooring, as well as there's vinyl flooring throughout, there's even some hardwood flooring in the living room and in one of the bedrooms. So all the windows have been updated in the house here. I'm showing you the, the, the front yard in that extra lot that's included. The HVAC system in this house is approximately four years old. The water heater was replaced last year. It was a new entrance cable two years ago. There's generator hookups. So a lot of neat amenities to this home. It's, it's a great idea to take a look. Next we'll travel to a nice acreage track in the southern end of our county in the Henry section of Franklin County. Uh, we have a survey of the property. The owners uh, walked it with myself it, so we know where the property lines are. That's not always the case. It has a really bold creek on the back. You can see here the width of the creek. I think it's a little over 500 feet on the survey showing the creek frontage. You have over 1,200 feet of frontage on the State Road, Briar Ridge Road. So it offers the potential for numerous lots if someone wanted to buy it and create a few extra lots. You have long road frontage. It lays extremely well. Um, it's all wooded. So this is a, a very good piece of land, again, due to the way that how it lays, the long road frontage. You get numerous building sites and a really good creek on the backside that's um, part of the property. So from Briar Ridge, we're going to head out to Lost Mountain. This is a great spot to um, here for you to, you know, if you're interested in building a lot, a great one to uh, take a look at. This is uh, Lost Mountain Road. It's 1.26 acres. If you'd like to learn more about it, uh, we'd love to talk with you. This is going to wrap things up here today with the Mountain to Lake Showcase. We really appreciate the opportunity to, well, to be with you. We appreciate uh, Cable 12 and all that you do. We're wishing everyone a safe and happy holiday. Merry Christmas to all and good night. <laughs>